so what we found was that if you look at the lifetime of the individuals you know there was no difference in number of stressful life events you know so if you look at their entire life and you count them how many number of stressful events they had there was no difference but if you just focus on the last five years you know those who had lung cancer had a significantly higher chance of developing of having a stress major stressful life event you know as compared to who did not uh, have lung cancer you know so we think maybe time is very important because if somebody has a major stressful life events the manifestation of it is likely to happen you know within few years not necessarily 20 years later you know if you, look, if you compare it with let's say smoking smoking takes decades before somebody develops lung cancer but i think in this situation if truly this uh, major stressful life event caused lung cancer the effect is seen within a few years you know less than five years that's what we found the other thing we found was which i thought was a little interesting is that it sort of affected older and older men more than other groups you know, so if we look at the specific subgroups within the study the the the, uh, the stressful life event score was much higher in the older gentlemen you know who had squamous histology and if we looked at look at the particular major stressful life events we noticed that major illness of an immediate family member you know was one of the major things that stood out among patients who had lung cancer and sort of goes with the with the two examples i gave earlier you know so if you have a partner or you know somebody close in your family who has a major illness and they eventually die that seems to affect you know people a lot in terms of you know um, chance of having lung cancer